Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you, or pretty much just whatever the cards want to say. It could be a love reading, could be, you know, there could be some information about finances or career that comes out. The last reading I did, I get that there was some kind of unexpected communication, some kind of love letter coming in. And it's basically time to get yourself out of stagnant energy. So let's see what the update is. Let's see what's currently going on for this energy group. Four of cups. Yeah, stagnant energy. Four of cups. Ten of cups. So getting out of stagnant energy quickly because love comes in and you have this new start that you didn't expect to have. Um, I think some of you are waiting on something to come through, and I think I think you might be it might come in kind of unexpectedly. It might not even be the person that you think it's gonna be either. You might be waiting on someone specific, like you've been kind of just like upset about someone, like missing someone, and then out of nowhere, it's like you have this ten of cups, like this, you know, home, family, this uh, abundance, this this new start with someone, just true love, everything, Poss possibly a new home, possibly children, even. The Fool, because you have this new start. Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Judgment. Strength. This could be someone coming from the past coming back around, but more than anything, I actually think for most of you, it's not someone from the past so much as it is just old patterns. It's like you went through a phase where maybe you were with emotionally unavailable people. There might have been miscommunication there. Just not seeing eye to eye, not being able, like throat chakra blocks is kind of the energy that I feel from this. Like kind of being almost like shy and submissive and not able to speak your truth. Or when you do speak your truth, it's like you get angry or your voice just isn't heard. Like just communication issues, not being heard, not being seen, not being felt. And I feel like you learn from that eight of pentacles. It's like you, you learned a lot about yourself through those experiences and you're wrapping this karmic cycle up and you're making this judgment call and deciding to go forward and, and be strong and be the best version of yourself. It's like you're taking the lessons and learning through them. And that's why you're able to get yourself out of this stagnant energy because it's like you're not in this cycle anymore. You're getting out of this cycle now. You're like, you know what? It sucks that that happened to me. That was painful, but I'm not going to let that define my entire life. I'm not going to let myself sit in this energy my entire life. It's time to be strong. It's time to speak my truth. Um, could be like some lion energy here too. Could be the lion's gate actually um, that we had on the 8th. But... It's like you just feel that energy where it's like, you know, it's time to get out of this, whatever this is. This could be a specific person that you just weren't talking to that you were kind of holding on to and kind of depressed over, even though you knew logically they weren't going to come back. But you're making a judgment call to be strong and to be the best version of yourself and to leave this behind. You've learned from this, learned from your mistakes. You're um, a different person now and you're getting yourself out of stagnant energy. And so I do feel like love is gonna come in unexpectedly for a lot of you, 10 of cups and the fool. It's like you got this new start here with a king of cups, possibly king or queen of cups. Yeah, this person's gonna be all about you. Nine of cups, like wish fulfillment, wishes granted, you know, trying to get your attention. Nine of swords. Don't get in your head with your anxieties, you know? Sometimes some of you might be tempted to hold on to the past or hold on to what's familiar. But, you know, it's way past time to get out of stagnant energy. It's way past time to, to get your life moving again. So, so don't stay in this energy of the Nine of Swords. Try to do what you can to move past this because your spirit guides are more than ready to finally bring you love, but you just you have to be in that receptive state for it, I feel. You have to be in that state of... Um, it's just this huge energy shift. It's like you're standing on this cliff. It's like, it's just, it's, how do I even explain it? It's, it's just time for you to have this, this major energy shift. You just have to step right out of your comfort zone. It's just, you know, love is waiting for you just on the other side of fear. It's like you have this new start. And I love how it goes from step from stagnant energy to a 10 of cups, just like that. It's like, it's like you're stagnant, nothing's going on. And then before you know it, it's like you're, 
engaged or you're having a baby or you're moving in with someone or you just have the love of your life with you and it's like this new start that you have this new creative start that brings your passion and your energy and your your emotion back to you that you didn't even see coming you know what I mean it's just like so so don't it's I don't want to say don't be bitter because it's hard not to be bitter sometimes but it's like there's a karmic cycle that wrapped up with someone and I think like don't don't sit in that energy anymore you know what I mean as much as it hurts try to go out and live your best life and have fun and take the lessons from that and move forward and you know I think when you do that when you make that judgment call to be strong and you you look at it from a higher perspective and and you know like ask yourself what did I learn from that like well you know what was the purpose of that what can I take from that what can I do differently in my next relationship you know, those are the kind of work things that you want to ask and you want to wrap up that karmic cycle. And then you, this comes in, this comes in like almost overnight where it's like, you just are single and then suddenly you're just in a relationship and it's like, what? <laughs> you got lots of, lots of 10 of cups, 10 of swords, 10 of pentacles, not just, uh, abundance with love but abundance with finances too i feel like a lot of you have been manifesting this for a while. Like you've been asking for this, you've been you know, manifesting this person, you've been manifesting this true love and, you know, manifesting money and asking for it, but you've been in stagnant energy. So it's almost, I will see this person in like this little guarded bubble. And it's like outside of that bubble is everything that you want. Like your, you know, wish fulfillment, just money, love, success, fame, fortune, all of it is just right outside that little bubble, but you have to step out of that bubble. You have to step out of this little, this little cave that you're in or whatever and, and you know, make life happen for you and, and go out and live your best life and get out of stagnant energy. Because I, th I think you've been praying for this and manifesting this for a while and it's almost like, it's, it's interesting energy because it's almost like you manifest things, like the things that you pray for and ask for, it's like your spirit guides bring them in, but like, your energy blocks them or like, I don't know what it would be. It's almost like, like the energy is around you. It's ready for the taking, like love, abundance, all of it. It's like ready, you know, money. It's, it's ready to be yours, but maybe it's like a certain mentality that you have that stops you from aligning with it. I'm not sure, but it's like all that energy, everything you've been asking for, it's available to you. It's like right there in front of your face, but it's like your in this bubble is what I see, what I feel like, even though it's around, you're kind of in this bubble kind of blocked from it. And it's like, you know, be, you know, maybe it's time to unblock, maybe it's time to do some chakra clearing as well, but it's like time to step out of your comfort zone and kind of, you know, align with this energy. Um, you know, do, do what you need to, to get out of stagnant energy, you know, go someplace new, go to a bookstore, go to, go to, go to a club, even just go, go, do something new. Like if you have the same old, same old routine, like try to step out of that routine finally. Because there's a lot of good energy here for you. For some, this could be someone that you were in contact with and like, you don't know what's going on with them and they communicate with you. It's like, it's, I don't know what it is. Or it could be like you go out and you meet someone and it's like love at first sight kind of energy. It's like some it's major energy shift. Like look how quickly it goes from being stagnant to, to 10 of cups, to the fool, this new start. There is something you gotta let go of here. It's like, there's this ending that's coming in too, but it's, it's like an ending, but also a beginning. And I think it's also the 10 of swords. I feel like it's, it's not so much a person that it's ending with. I mean, for some of you, it could be a person that you're wrapping up a karmic cycle with, but more than anything, I think it's more just like a pattern that you've had with people or just like, not like a, I don't want to say like a bitterness, but almost like a, like a, like soul loss or like a, an experience that you've had, like a, experiences you've had with people where your throat chakra was blocked, where you weren't able to speak your truth. You were being ignored. You were being taken for granted. You weren't being heard. Like you just weren't in your power. Someone was taking your power from you. And you know, 10 of swords, it's like, it's like rock bottom, but it's like letting that energy go and, and taking your power back here. And, um, you know, like I said, looking at it from a higher perspective so that that karmic cycle can finally 
wrap up and you can kind of understand because it's almost like you're you're holding on to that karmic cycle like the karmic cycle has ended like you learned what you needed to learn but you're still mad that you went through it does that make sense and it's not like you can be mad it's normal to be mad it's completely healthy to have anger there's nothing wrong with that but i'm just saying don't sit in that energy forever though you know what i mean like even if you're angry still try to see what the lesson was from that like why you needed to go through that like what you learned from it so you can take that energy and do things differently next time around in your next relationship it doesn't mean that it was okay that that happened to you or that you went through that it just simply means like don't sit in that for the rest of your life though you know what i mean like there is a balance like you can have that anger you can be upset about it it's normal to be angry and upset it's, it's healthy to be angry i would say like you know, you're human, you're going to have human emotions, you don't want to suppress your emotions, you want to be in tune with your emotions, even, you know, anger, pain, like those are all normal, healthy emotions, and you should express them. But it's just kind of saying, like, forgive yourself, like if you were in a situation where, you know, your throat chakra was blocked, and someone was taking your power away, like forgive yourself for being in that situation, forgive yourself if you were in a situation where you were naive, forgive yourself for, you know, being in, being in that kind of situation that maybe you didn't want to be in. Um, try to see from that higher perspective, like, why did, you know, what did you learn from that? And then just, like, moving forward. Um, even if you move forward with anger, it's just, just move forward. Even if you're still angry about it, still be like, okay, well, I learned this from that, so I'm going to do this differently in my next relationship. But I'm still pissed about it. That still shouldn't have happened. That's fine. But just just don't sit in the energy. Don't be like, well, this happened to me, so I'm never going to trust anyone else again. Or I'm never going to open myself up again. You know what I mean? Like, don't sit in that energy where you're just like, where you're stagnant and not able to move forward. It's like, move forward. Even if you move forward with anger and pain, still move forward. You know what I mean? Like, express, I don't know if that makes sense, but like, express those emotions. Like, like, yeah, I'm pissed that that happened to me. That wasn't okay. Um, it's not going to define my future, though. Because for the longest time, it's been defining your future where it's like it happened to you and you're like, okay, well, this happened, so I can't trust anyone. I can't put myself out there. I need to be strong and guarded. And I'm just saying, like, go ahead and be angry, but, like, move forward and be angry. Be like, you know, like, like, no, it wasn't okay, but it's it's time to, it's still time to meet new people, even if that wasn't okay that that happened to you. It's time to just wrap that karmic cycle up. Just try to find more of a balance between the two extremes, you know what I mean? Between completely shutting down and, um, you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Just try to find that balance. I don't even know what to say about it. I know sometimes I word things in a strange way. But, but yeah, it's like rock bottom. It's like, it's, it's time for cleansing. It's time for purging. It's time for renewal. It's time for soul retrieval. And you have, I mean, like I said, you have abundance. You have 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, love, a new start, family. You have everything you've been praying for. It's just like a certain mentality or a certain energy or perspective or like throat chakra blocks. It's just like you might have root chakra blocks as well, which is about like physical abundance and manifestation. So you might want to clear those up as well. Um, in addition to doing shamanic work. But I feel like what you've, what you've been praying for is already here, but you're just not, you have to get in alignment with it. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you guys would like a reading, my email is below. Any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below and please subscribe if it resonates. So in the meantime, I would just, you know, keep, go easy on yourself, heal, step out of your comfort zone. Um, and don't be hard on yourself either for not being fully in alignment with these things. Like you will get in alignment, but I think it's mostly just get out of stagnant energy. Just try to change your perspective. Try to change that mentality. It doesn't mean that you have to forgive everyone or that you have to be happy. No, I'm not saying that. Like, you can be sad. You can be angry. You can be upset. But you can be upset. Like I said, you can be angry and upset, but still have that motivation. You know what I mean? Like, you can be like, yeah, that wasn't okay. That happened to me. I deserve way more. I'm still going to meet new people, though. I'm still going to make new friends. I'm still going to get out of my comfort zone. I'm still, I'm going to, you know, learn from that pain. I'm going to take that pain with me. Sure. But I'm, 
I, I learned a lot from that situation and I know that not everyone is the same. It's like just opening your mind up, stepping out of your comfort zone, getting out of that routine. Um, I hope that makes sense. So thank you guys for watching.